What's up everybody? This is Brandon with Southwest Victory Gardens, your resource for organic gardening in the desert southwest. Today I want to show you guys how to make a pepper garlic spray. This is a really common uh, insecticide used in organic gardening. Uh, it's really simple to do, um, so I want to show you guys uh, you know, basically how I do it. Uh, first thing, uh, things first, I want to talk about the ingredients. I have uh, basically three peppers here. Uh, I'm using habaneros uh, or scotch bonnets depending on what part of the country you're in. Uh, these, uh, uh, you can use these, you can also use cayenne peppers, uh, whatever you got lying around, you know, any kind of pepper. Um, I got three of them here and I got also uh, two bulbs of garlic, uh, that's about 20 cloves. Um, you know, the smaller the cloves the better, uh, actually, you know, the more potent the garlic is, actually the smaller. So. I try to find uh, you know something a little bit smaller. Um, I also got about two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and um, in addition to about a third cup of water right there. So um, what you want to do is get all your ingredients together. And I'm wearing gloves here because uh, anytime I'm dealing with these habaneros, I want to always have gloves on um, and make sure not to uh, you know rub your eyes or nose or anything like that while you're doing this. Um, now what we're going to do is just uh, get our uh, ingredients here and we're going to toss them into this uh, blender I got here. Stems and all, you don't have to take the stems off. Uh, I do remove the husks though off of the uh, garlic. Um, that's up to you. Some people leave them in, but I like to keep them off because we're going to strain it all out anyway. <clears throat> Dropped one. Okay. Uh, get the oil in there. Today on Southwest Victory Garden Kitchen. I know I'm just joking. Okay. Get that in the sink. Now remember, I don't touch your eyes or anything. Okay. I'll get the blender over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now, what I like to do is uh, when I get the lid on and then secure get a paper towel and cover the top so I don't get any splashback. Now what we're going to want to do is just basically pulverize this. You can uh, basically run it for about 30 seconds, pulse it a little bit, and then just kind of let it rip, okay? Okay, that should be good. Alright, you see we got a little splashback there. That's why we put that paper towel there. Okay, let's just put that over to the side. Kind of go down a little bit. Okay. All right. This goes to the sink. Get the blade out of here, also. Just gonna tap off any excess. All right. Now, the next thing we got to do is strain this out. So what I got here is a, uh, a just a regular old uh, strainer or a sieve or whatever you call it and uh, I'm going to line it with some cheesecloth. Uh, you can get cheesecloth at the grocery store or at the hardware store even in some cases. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to just Pour it on in there. All right, now what we're going to do is let this sit for about 30 minutes to an hour and just kind of let it all strain out of there. Um, what you can do kind of assist the process is, is kind of lift up around the edges here and just kind of you know give it a little shake and you don't want to do that too much but just in case you, any of those particles get through they're going to clog up your sprayer so you know just kind of let it sit you know and I did one earlier to kind of show you guys um, got it right here so what you can do is uh, you know oops is just kind of twist it 
you know, like that, and then, uh, you know, you kind of wring it out, and eventually you just get all that liquid out of there. There's still some in here. I can even, you know, twist that even more. I'll put that in there. Okay, so now this, you save it. This is uh, garden gold. When, what you can do is, uh, after you've applied the spray, you can actually put this around the base of your plants, um, and this garlic and, and pepper is just going to, you know, scare off anything and, you know, everything that wants to get in your garden. So, um, so w what you'll be left with once this is all said and done is about a half a cup of the concentrate. Um, I have it here in uh, a little bit of a container. You can keep this in the refrigerator for about a week. Now, this concentrate, uh, about a half cup, makes uh, enough to make about four gallons of spray. So you can use about an eighth of a cup per gallon, uh, or you can up that to any ratio you'd like. You can do a quarter cup to a gallon, or even half a cup to a gallon if you want some really strong concentrate. Um, and this you can keep in your fridge for about a week or two um, before uh, you know you want to toss it. So. Uh, you know, remember to label it clearly, uh, make sure the kids know that that's poison and very hot and garlicky, um, and, you know, don't go drinking it or anything like that. All right, so there you have it. It's just a real simple, quick way to uh, make a, a home pesticide that is uh, wards off many pests, and it's not toxic. It's not going to kill anything. Um, all it's really going to do is just uh, make a, the uh, environment really unhospitable to any pests that might want to live there. So um, if you, um, I'm going to make another video and show you guys how to actually apply this. Um, so you know, stay tuned for that. Um, all right. So again, my name is Brandon. This is Southwest Victory Gardens, your resource for gardening in the desert Southwest. Thank you very much.